Alright, so guys, welcome back to another video. Guys, in today's video, I do want to talk about La Liga investments really, really early. The team of the week situation, a lot of people have lost coins. Yes, they got required, but unfortunately, team of the season cards got required as well. So, of course, should you sell, should you keep? I do want to talk about that. And obviously, La Liga investments and how to make coins every single day with the 83 times 10 SBC. Drop a like, to subscribe, and let's get in the video. Alright, so boys, content today. There's so much stuff I do want to talk about. Obviously, Team of the Weeks, as you know, that was my investment. And again, yes, they've dropped. I do want to cover them. Can you sell? Maybe should you keep, etc. So, content we got today. Center back from League 1, 87 pace, 92 physical, 91 defending. The card looks good, only with an 85 rated team. I do think, again, decent value if you just started playing the game and you need a decent center back team of the season. And boys, the main SBC, which everyone obviously was waiting for, but unfortunately with the wrong requirements. Have a look in the background. 83 times 10, good. Obviously, we needed that to make coins. However, he says minimum one player, any team of the season or team of the week. Obviously, guys, we basically bought informs because last week what happened? We saw the 84 times 7 with a specific team of the week requirement. And they obviously went from 25k to like 60,000 coins. And again, this week, we expected the same thing. Unfortunately, you can see in the background, we did get a team of the season requirement. And yes, boys, personally, on my account, I'm not really sure how much I'm losing. I haven't sold any. You can see in the background, I have not sold any cards. But I will actually end up selling for maybe 200 to 300k loss. I only bought around 55 as I don't really trade on my account anymore. So again, guys, Team of the Weeks, if you bought them, unfortunately, like I said, the requirements messed everyone up. I know so many people, so many Discords that actually bought Team of the Weeks. And if we go on the market right now, they're honestly around, wow, 23,750, not even selling. So I'm going to take a guess, 23,000 coins, not even selling. So again, guys, the, again, the loss is really bad. It happens, it's trading. That's what happens. But unfortunately, nothing really we can do. We try to guess it correctly, which we did. But unfortunately, the team of the season requirement messed us up. So obviously, I do suggest selling them for a loss and obviously reinvesting your coins into different stuff I will be talking about in today's video. But boys, on a positive note, Foda is doing very, very well. I told you in the video yesterday to buy the following cards. I said 87s, 5.1, 5.2, obviously very, very low risk, low risk investment and 87s right now are pushing 6,000 coins. I said 88, around 7 to 7.5, 88 right now. You can see Griezmann, Oblak, Osimhen, Bruno, basically 8,500 coins. Really, really solid profit right there. I said 89s, around 16. Those are 17. I said 90s, around 16. Those are 18. And obviously 91s, we said 16 to 17k. And obviously right now they're pushing 20 thousand coins so for their investments are doing very very good but like i said unfortunately with the team of the weeks a lot and i know a lot of people who bought 100 200 300 400 500 informs and unfortunately you got absolutely cooked it happens it's trading you can't always win as long as you boys take the l really well and reinvest your coins and obviously make coins elsewhere however guys we have la liga investments in today's video i do want to prepare you really really early with some special investments for la liga so let me get straight into that and then of course mass bidding filters and a few other investments as well so boys straight away i do want to show you some bidding filters obviously guys if you do watch my videos every single day skip this part you boys know every single filter i talk about however if you're new again to make really really easy coins use a filter like this in the background 2.1 2.2 9.9 10,000 coins click search and this is basically a bidding filter for 85 rated fodder as you can see in the background Grealish 2.1 stones 2.1 shore 2.1 so again basically with this filter it's very simple you want to know the prices of fodder as you can see in the background john stone's open bid 2200 coins so if i quickly switch my screen you boys in footbin will be able to see the prices of 85 fodder you can see the cheapest is 3400 coins and you can see stones 3400 coins so again basically with this filter go on open bids go on snipes and try to win really really cheap open bids and of course if you do sell the card straight away for really really quick profit next up we do have the 86 mass bidding filter basically the exact same as the 85 all you have to do click search and you're going to see pages and pages and pages of 86 rated fodder 
around 3.6 to 3,700 coins. Very nice, very simple. And of course, all you have to do, go on Footbin and check the cheapest 86s right now. You can see 4.2, 4.4, 4, again, 4.5. So obviously, if you win any bids close to 4,000 coins, you can probably sell these around 4.5 to 4.6, maybe even 5,000 coins tomorrow with obviously the icon refresh coming tomorrow. So boys, two bidding filters right now, obviously 86s and 85s. I do want to talk about investments for tomorrow. And like I said, La Liga special cards, early, early investments. So guys, for the casino SBC tomorrow, I do want to recover fodder. Some fodder has actually dropped in price. For example, if we look at 87s, you can see Modric is 5,600 coins. But if I show you the graph, this card earlier today peaked at around, again, you can see 6,200 coins. So again, fodder has dropped off a little bit. Reason being, weekend league, store packs, etc. But I do expect fodder to rebound tomorrow with the icon casino SBC. For example, we have Kimmich. I want to show you the graph as well. 88 fodder has dropped nearly 1,000 coins. Have a look in the background. Kimmich today literally was 9,000 coins. Right now, 8,000 coins. Can you still buy fodder? I do think, again, there's still potential to make coins. So, target price is very simple. 87s under 6,000 coins. I do think tomorrow with the casino SPC, you can probably sell these 6.5 to 7,000 coins. 88 under 8,000 coins is fine. Obviously, even 8,000 coins, I think, is a good price. They might even go 9 to 10,000 coins with the Icon Casino tomorrow. So, again, these two ratings I really, really like. Now, boys, I do want to cover some La Liga investments really, really early. You saw with the Prem, they did very, very well. Bundesliga did very, very well. League One did very, very well. I do want to talk about La Liga special. So if we go to positions, if we go to versions. Again, any version is fine. League, top five, obviously, and click on La Liga Santander. There is a lot, and I'm talking about a lot of cards I do want to talk about as investments for the cup on Thursday. So again, if you're watching this, and you are in my premium discord obviously just check the investment channel i posted i think around 50 to 60 different cards to be buying for the cup but obviously in today's video i do want to talk about a few that i do think can still rise in price so the first card i do think has potential to rise has to be this 88 rated striker rodrigo reason being first of all this card is fairly cheap 130,000 coins i do think with this card, he can easily push 145, 146, even 150,000 coins. People need a striker, meta, kind of cheap striker for the cups. And I do think Rodrigo is that type of card to actually rise in price. Now, we have page number four. Anyone else from this list that I think can do very, very good? If we do scroll down, obviously we have Felix. And by the way, I do think Fire Felix is a perfect card to be buying unfortunately up 6k but i do think yes this card can easily push 95 to 100 000 coins target price is very simple try to aim one to two thousand coins under obviously market price and a similar card to felix has to be rafinha winter wild cards 87 rated this card if football actually decides to load and we click on rafinha again rafinha is priced around 33k unfortunately you can see in the background up 6,000 coins but i do think earlier yesterday if we do have a look at the graph hourly go to yesterday rafinha was i guess he's not really up 6k yesterday he was 33 between 30 to 33 so it's actually basically the same price i do think rafinha is one of them cards that will rise in the hype and i do think he can easily push over 40,000 coins anyone else i like from la liga if we do scroll down Gimenez, center back 80 a rated right now around 40,000 coins again 85 pace 89 defending 88 physical hopper hunt on him or hunter hopper shadow on him and this card is honestly very very good tiger price like i said every card you see in the background try to aim one to two thousand coins under what he's worth on the market molina basically similar card with the bundesliga right back i suggested i do think he's got potential if we do look at the graph of the bundesliga right back i told you to buy he went from 20,000 coins to 30,000 coins so if we look at the graph take the pc graph off we'll go to 14 days you can see around this time i suggested him in the video around 18 to 20,000 coins the cup came out and he went all the way to 27k but in game this card was 30 
thousand coins and i do think molina could 100 percent follow the same pattern as obviously the right back from the bundesliga and again guys there's so so many cards i do want to talk about i don't want to sit here and waffle for 20 minutes but again there's so many investments you can buy really really early for la liga cup and let's try find a few more on this list in the background right here morata decent shouts again pablo i do think is a perfect card let me tell you the reasons first of all 87 fodder special card is very very cheap second of all 18,000 coins for Hooligang, very very cheap and the card is very very good in game if you actually played with him i know he's a little bit outdated but he's actually very very good so target price is again 17 to 18k should be fine pc 1 to 2,000 coins under if you can get the shadows, obviously that is a bonus and if we do go go to page number six we're going to go to lower rated special cards which i do think is obviously lower risk captivia left back very very good example can rise easily in the hype right now down at 2000 coins i do think there's potential so if you do want to pick up a few again one two three cards send them to the transfer list maybe expect 23 to 24000 coins on that captivia anyone else carvajal could do this and not really crazy about it inaki williams both cards i do think have potential nico williams i do think this card first of all 95 pace people see 95 pace they go crazy about it they love to run down the wing nico williams perfect example around 28 29k if you do want to pick up a few i do think is a very very good shout inaki williams obviously his brother basically the exact same i do think those two cards have potential we have obviously bolde from barcelona left back 27k once again there's so many options but I do think there is potential left backs, right backs, center backs, center mids. Obviously, if you're in the premium discord, just check the investment channel and buy five, 10 card each. And obviously the return is gonna be really, really good in about a week's time. So boys, that is a few special cards I like. And obviously I wanna talk about a few gold cards I think it's worth investing into as well. So boys, we've talked about a few special cards. Like I said, every single day, I'm going to suggest different special cards for you boys to prepare for Thursday La Liga Cup. So again, if you boys again want that, drop a like and subscribe. It takes two seconds. You help my channel grow. And of course you make coins as well. Win-win situation and it's free to drop a like. Now, too many. First of all, I think he's gonna get a team of the season. Second of all, for the cup, I do think this card can rise really, really nicely. And again, he's very, very close to for the price. If you can get 1.5, 1.6, both platforms, I actually do not mind that card as an investment. Rudiger, He's having an amazing season with Madrid. I do think he's going to get a blue card, obviously, at the end of the season. And I do think 82 pace, 84 defending, 86 physical. He's going to get used in the cup a very, very good amount. Rudiger, I'm a very, very big fan of this card as a really, really early investment. Memphis, the pie. First of all, this card is for the price. If you're buying a 1.4, again, the risk is honestly so, so low. 1.5 console, again, try to get between 1.2 to 1.3 both platforms i really really like that investment rafinha gold card 2.8k you can see up three percent but i do think there is potential but i'm going to cover rafinha tomorrow anyone else in this list 84 rated again 83 fodder mendy up 16 percent i mean yes mendy can rise camavinga i think is a bit of a lower risk again 750 open bids very very low risk if it doesn't rise quick sell and you lose 50 coins per card which is absolutely nothing we have mendy we saw hakimi rise in price we saw davies for the bundesliga go max price we saw kai walker go from 2000 coins to 10,000 coins mendy is probably another one of those cards that can rise with the liga cup and maybe if it gets a team of the season so again keep these players in mind guys any questions like i said comment section down below every single video from now i'm going to cover the Liga investment to make you boys prepare to make easy easy coins as the week goes on and obviously recover the loss from the team of the weeks make sure you buy fodder for the icon casino spc tomorrow any questions comment section down below drop a like just subscribe and i will see you boys tomorrow with another video